exactly right. It takes some fortitude to call that type of a play, but when it doesn't work, oh boy, you wish you hadn't. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. A first down throw here for Rivers. And this is caught on the sideline. But no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it, but was not in bounds. Incomplete. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong. He's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work out a little bit more. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Rivers is going to stay out there. They're going to try for this thing on fourth down. And we talk about players blitzing all the time. Often laugh and sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway. But when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A big play here for Buffalo. 54 yards. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. So now it's first and goal. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Mike Gillisley, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the early lead. Well, that was a quick hitter drive. They had the huge play to get him down near the goal line, and then they run it in. I don't know that the defense ever had a chance to catch their breath. A lot of the time now, when we see people hit big plays, each team defines a big play their own way, 10, 15-yard gains. In this case, it was a huge gain. They often want to hurry up and go right away. Keep the momentum going, hit them again, and I think we just saw that there. The second play resulted in pay dirt. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And now it's a third and four situation for the offense. They'll come out in the pistol. Rivers now. And the tight end Olsen right side. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Throwing Rivers. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking for Ty Montgomery that time. And it's second down. 
It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense fell harmlessly to the ground. A good pick up there of 20 yards. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Rivers on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mike Daniels in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. now to begin the second quarter with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's the Chargers here with a football. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. On first and ten, Rivers. And a little floater there incomplete. Tommy Bohannon, the fullback, is intended target. And now it's second down. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Roughing the passer, that's shades of Charles Davis back in his playing days. Oh, I sure wish it had been, Brandon. Back in my day, I didn't hit anyone hard enough to rough the passer. I had a, no, I had a number of teammates that handled that for me. They'll throw again. Rivers is at about the five. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. C.J. Fedorowicz, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And here come the Bills. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. Ten yards still left on second down. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Oh, he's got a little daylight. He's at the 50, 30, the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Mike Gillisley, 81 yards. And the Bills have taken the lead. And with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And, partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the play caller. Give me the ball. Again <laughs> and, and again, again and again. It's not that heavy, sir. I'll take it. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but they had that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks. Those guys are worth their weight in gold. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, You've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Michael Bannon in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Partner, I know the ball security is preached like crazy, but every now and then, you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now, if you're the offensive coordinator, what does it do if it was third and 10 versus third and much longer as it is now? Yeah, it changes everything in terms of play calling and the pressure you might expect to face on the very next down. Had to throw the ball away and save the yardage. He didn't get it done. They come up in an offset eye. On fourth down, they snap it to Rivers. And to the left side, Fedorowicz has it. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And now out come the Bills. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And brought down there by a pair of Chargers on the stop. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to San Diego after this timeout. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. First play of the drive, a first down run. Well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go. Do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels? Or do you play chess match with them, break tendency, and go play action and go for the big shot? And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. A oh, design run for their wide out. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. And this is beginning to border on dominance. Another strong run that picks up a first down. You've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering they even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. Mike Gillisley on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Bills will add on to their lead. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. Here's the Bills kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 20 yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup, cover. They're going to hurry back to the line now. So what's the old expression the quarterbacks like to use when they decide to throw the football? 
I'm looking for either a touchdown or a check down. And he took the check down on that play, and it worked almost to perfection. And that play was vintage Derrick Johnson. Made a play in the backfield. In college, he did as an outside linebacker. Used speed to get to the backfield. Now, a bulked up inside linebacker with multiple Pro Bowls on his resume. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. They come up in an offset eye. On third down, Rivers. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Fourth down, Rivers. This is Bell on the dump ball. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They go play action here on first down. And caught left side, Olsen. A nice gain at 21 yards. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with a and he's in for a Charger touchdown. Le'Veon Bell as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers have made this a one-score game. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And they'll go on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now, Wilson on second down. He's going to air one out. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now, hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And folks, this is a 67-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And they're going to speed things up here. Now a play fake here on first down. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before 
getting this inside the 30. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. He lost two there, and it's third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing Rivers, right side, caught Fedorowicz. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And he's got it, over the middle, Fedorowicz. It'll be a gain of nine, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mike Bennett in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Second down, Rivers dumping it off for Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of 11, and it'll be third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Extra DB on the field for the Bills here on third down. Yeah, maybe think and pass. Now Rivers, and that is incomplete. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. Rivers to throw for it on fourth. This is Bell on the dump off. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And that will force a turnover on downs. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position, the ball comes out, you know, there. And that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it's a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold it. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. And this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run. And they'll run it here. And he will have the first down as he's up to his 17-yard line. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Oftentimes when a guy has a game like this, he's going to take his offensive line out to dinner afterwards. But after a play like that, he may tell him. Instead of getting the steaks, guys, we might have to go for the hot dogs. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now we're back now in Mission Valley and San Diego. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. I see an extra DB on the field now for San Diego. Yeah, indeed. Now it's Wilson. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we have to run out of these guys. Block and catch the football. Not easily done in today's NFL. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10 yard line. Hey, 17 short, watch 17. Single, single, single. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And he fires 
one incomplete. He was looking to hit his running back, Le'Veon Bell, that time. And that'll bring up second down. How many times when we see an incomplete pass, we just look at the receiver and say, ah, I should have caught that one. That was a drop, and we just put it on the offense. How about a little credit for the... And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. C.J. Fedorowicz, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers are within a two-point conversion of tie in this game. Rivers is going to throw for it. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down, it caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. They come out here in the eye. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. The gang of Charger defenders there for the tackle. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Second down and four. And now here's a carry heading left. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. And now they'll put it in the hands of Jeffrey. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he's going to get this one down to the foot. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Well, now they'll try the end around. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. I'd sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing like a well-oiled machine. Now Fitzgerald going to get it on the end around. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them. And he's falling down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. 
but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Here's the Bills' kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to exit. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like... Oh, no, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Oh, and it's a fake. They'll try and throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Lawrence Timmons. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That's fielded in the end zone. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. The scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew.